The other case that we need to look at is where pumps are run in parallel. This occurs where flow rate may vary substantially or some redundancy is required in the system. Typically, you might have a duty pump, an assist pump, and a standby pump, three pumps, two of which may be running at any time. It's conventional to run pumps in parallel. In this case, it's also possible to run pumps of different sizes in parallel as long as the closed valve heads of all the pumps are similar. Indeed, if we're running nominally identical pumps, they won't be absolutely identical because of manufacturing tolerances. So here we see three pumps set in parallel and the effect of the combined curves. These are the combined head volume curves for one, two or three pumps. If we look at that curve with a typical system curve overlaid, we see that the flow from two pumps is less than twice the flow of a single pump. Equally, the flow from three pumps in this case is less than the effect of three single pumps. The reason for this is that we're increasing the discharge pressure, they're going up the system curve. And one of the factors that needs to be taken into account with parallel pumps is that the greatest energy savings can in fact be achieved by running all three pumps on variable speed. So as the head is rising, the work done by the pumps increases. It means that having all the pumps controlled, we can make the optimum savings.